Okay, so here's the contract. It says that we can't build new walls. I don't even have enough money to build new walls, so... We can't demolish some walls. We can't make any new halls. We can't have new installations. We can't perforate walls. We can't attach tiles or any permanent materials on walls. Then what am I supposed to do? First of all, congratulations on deciding that you do need to decorate your rented space even though it's not gonna be a permanent space. And if you are still not sure about this, consider that you are the one that's going to live there and it is such an investment in your well-being that decorating or making the place feel like home can give you comfortable zone where you actually want to spend time there. I know this can be hard considering that most of the leasing contracts don't allow you to do any hard work or major changes and some others let you at least paint some walls or very minimal changes. So in this episode we're going to talk about how you can decorate a rented space with very minimal and affordable changes with examples. I'm Patricia and this is Designer 101. With the basics painting a wall this you can do depending of course on the contract but most of them allow at least painting a few walls very easy to do affordable and it can set up instantly a different ambience for the apartment i recommend painting just a few walls and sometimes just one this will create a focal point and if someday when you leave the apartment you can turn back the color of that single wall and not paint the entire place if painting is not in your options, you can move on with the next item and I think it is the people's favorite, the peel and stick material. Peel and stick wallpaper, peel and stick tiles or peel and stick flooring and so on. This is by far the most reliable way of not ruining the walls or floors and an affordable option when installing and leaving since you just peel it away or stick it on. I like this option since it can set an interior design style you want. You can choose some bohemian flower wallpaper or some modern subway tiles or even some Scandinavian wallpaper. It can definitely give the place life. Other materials that I love are rocks. Oh, I am obsessed with rocks. They feel so good, they look good, and it's not a permanent option. They go everywhere, even in bathrooms. And I always see that it can bring some texture and depth to the place. Great option. The next one is when you can't even make a hole on the wall. Like, who doesn't let you do that? But anyway, when you can't do this, you can arrange your artwork or frames by leaning them to the wall and sometimes putting one over another. This will create a casual and artistic look. It works with mirrors and big canvases. Okay, so a way to feel that a space has been decorated is to improve the illumination design. You can achieve this using LED strip lights. They are so easy to install, an affordable option that you can always use as much as you need because you can cut them in strips. And talking about illumination, incorporating floor lamps or small lamps and even changing the whole ceiling lamp fixture can definitely make an improvement. And last, incorporate curtains. It gives an elegant look and it can also achieve that multiple purpose like getting that blackout vibe or just a shade if you want some light. Okay, so now that we know the theory, let's see some real examples. I've gathered three apartment spaces, really simple, but without life or decor whatsoever. One is a kitchen, other is an entrance, and other is a living room. Let's start with the kitchen. This space lacks character, it feels impersonal, and it probably is a showroom. Let's make the first change with the backsplash using the peel and stick tiles. Next, we can incorporate strip lights beneath the cabinets and some others above them. This will give courtesy lightning and also use it to the workstation. Now, a thing you can do to have this open space concept is remove the door cabinets in some areas. Please keep these spaces clean and presentable. Of course, a rug with enough separation from the wet areas, a dining table or work table like an island, and a beautiful large foliage plant. Yep, this looks so much better like someone is actually living here. 
Here's how it looked before and here is now. Let's work on the entrance now. This space looks pretty decent, but again, anyone could live there. Instead, let's turn it into a modern and a bit Scandinavian look. Let's start by painting the door wall since it will create a focal point and break the all white space. When you have this long hole, a running rug works perfectly. On this wall, we're going to locate a wood and dark metal table with some artwork leaning to the wall so you don't have to perforate a thing. A decorative base and some flowers. On the other side, locate a plant. Then a small lamp and here's where you eventually make a stop to see the apartment or wait for someone or even leave your keys. So a decorative plate will be great to put the essentials. Looking so much better. Before, after. Last is the living room. This place looks good already, but it can be better. Let's start with a fluffy white rug. And of course, this space needs a plant. Let's change that white lamp for this exotic one. A round mirror for the entrance, some artworks to the side, a coat hanger and a few vases for decor. And that's it. Look at that space, so much life. Now this person can enjoy a wonderful life. Deciding whether to decorate a rented space or not can definitely have an impact on your budget, but it doesn't necessarily need to be that much. In this video, we talk about if interior design is always that expensive. I'm sure there are more ways you can improve a room without being permanent. I hope you like this video and subscribe for more. See you next time.